And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there. Hey, Belderin. Um, for our next donation deck, which is going to be Mono Black Lich. So, had a challenge here to build a um, deck based around Phylactery Lich. And so this is what I've come up with here. Uh, we'll, you know, kind of see how it works. Basically, for Phylactery Lich, if you're not very... Um, familiar with this card it's triple b for a five five indestructible amazing rate that is awesome however it has a clause that whenever it enters the battlefield you have to put a phylactery counter on an artifact you control and then if you control no permanents with phylactery counters on them you have to just sacrifice the phylactery lich so we need an artifact in play before we can play the lich and so therefore we have these um I guess 11, 11 cheap artifacts. So we need to have one of these 11 cheap artifacts already on the battlefield before we play Phylactery Lich. We also have a couple more expensive artifacts. So that's not very many, honestly. Um, so, you know, this I'm kind of going like the bare bones minimum of artifacts probably uh, with only 11. And it is it is neat with like these trans... So like these, these artifacts transform into lands... And so then you may think, oh, no, they transform into land, so then there won't be artifacts anymore. Well, it's still a... Per like, the Phylactery counter does not leave the the treasure map when it turns into Treasure Cove. It'll still have that counter on it, and it'll still be a permanent with the Phylactery counter. So good thing it doesn't say when you control no artifacts. So it, that's, that is okay. So um, besides that, we're, like, more of a control deck. I'm going with the four Ritual of Soot, trying to destroy a bunch of creatures... Um, early creatures. Um, we can have Azor's Gateway that could flip and give us a good amount of mana. Orc of All Strongholds that can give us a lot of mana. If we have either of those, then we could kick at Josu Vess, which is another Lich, by the way. It's a Lich Knight. Um, so yeah, the counters do stay on the land there. So we're so we don't have to worry about that too much. Um, but yeah, we don't have a ton of don't have a lot of win cons. Immortal Sun's going to be like our main card that we're grinding that like to grind down other decks. So like Immortal Sun's going to be an important card for us. Like Treasure Map, look for Immortal Sun. You know we're going to be a, a an Immortal Sun control deck basically. Sideboard wise, we got another, our fourth duress. We got some anti aggro cards with Moment of Craving, Cry of the Carnarium, Spyglass for control decks, also an artifact um, or for Nexus. Uh, we have a Contempt if need be. I, I have two extra Doom Whisperers in the sideboard because Doom Whisperer is a really important card against aggro decks uh, for the clock on there. No Karn because of Immortal Sun. Tetsamok may not be so bad. Tetsamok may not be so bad. I have Eldritch Reborns is like kind of like a, a random card to have in like whatever matchups we want. Like against like drakes it's it's real good kind of thing and we'll just kind of see um what if i should play a tetsamok instead of one of these eldest reborns maybe there i got a third immortal sun for control and for uh soul tie and then i have a boneyard parlay for the soul tie matchup that you know hopefully goes longer we like kill a bunch of creatures with like ritual of sets and they have a bunch of things in their graveyard and we can boneyard parlay um that's what I'm trying. Hey, Versakin. Yeah, Tetsamok could be okay, though. It is quite expensive, of course, but... Hmm. I'll just keep it like this for now. But that'll be an interesting card to think about. If that'll help us out. So, yeah. We'll see how this goes. This may not go super well, but maybe it will. I think Lich is like, like these Lich decks are a little more popular in, in best of one. In best of one, you can make it really anti-red. And like with Mono Red being such a popular best of one deck, and you have, because um, uh, like they can't deal with the Lich at all. And then you have like the Fountain of Renewals in the main and you can play like Moment of Cravings or Cry of the Carnarium like main deck and stuff. So you can make a, a pretty decent anti-red Lich deck for best of one. But playing a best of three 
is a little bit more of a challenge, and that's what we're doing here. Um, I've, I've, <clears throat> I used to have fun with Tetsumok before Ravnica. Too bad it's unplayable in the mono meta. Dang. Uh, I just got a Tetsumok last night as an ICR. I'm excited to play it, but I have no idea what deck I should put it in. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure where you want to be playing that card either. Honestly. Alright, let's get the gateway in play so we can have the Lich in play next turn. And with the with our opponent just tapping out for Tempest Gen, I'm just gonna kill that thing. Instead of playing Lich. I'm going to ditch the Contempt next. Um, to Azor's Gateway. I'm going to get rid of this Contempt. <clears throat> Make their dive downs not do a whole lot. Which I might as well just do right now. I would like Ritual of Sit to resolve. Ritual of Sit is amazing in this matchup. They're only down to three cards. Okay. Down to one card. Looks like it's a good chance that <coughs> set resolves. I kind of like all the cards in our hand. I'm going to activate this and just kind of exile the top card of my library. Alright, I guess it's, my, it's a swamp. Did they draw a counterspell? Yeah, I guess the opponent just wanted to throw away that dive down, I suppose. Alright, Doom Whisperer's activated ability. I'm going to have to click next all the time now, too. We only have two different CMCs exiled with Azor's Gateway. We're a long ways away from flipping it. Yeah, complete the cast blue card quest. Alright, so this is a matchup for Doom Whisperer. And we like to rest. Um, it's not really a Lich matchup. 
Could just board out all the liches and a bunch of artifacts. And turn into mono black control. Yeah, this is just not a Lich matchup, unfortunately. Fountains for the chip damage. Nah. I think the game's like if they're just chip damage, chip damaging. That's gonna be good for us. But <clears throat> between Terramander and Tempest Gen that hit really hard, and also like if they're chipping with Curious Obsession, I think the spot that it could they could go in would be for the Thaumatic Compass. That's that's what I was thinking. Maybe one for like maybe one. For compass. Um, fire this off. Metamorphic alteration. See, that's not a card I'm too worried about. So land is honestly what I'm looking for mostly here. Land for the Ritual of Sits and, you know, be able to go Ritual of Sits, Cry the Carnarium, that kind of stuff. Um... Cry's not a bad draw. Take out both of those. So they have their three unknowns, their three draw steps. We've had the last three turns. We'll see how many, like, you know, they drew some counter spells. Or not, we'll see. So we've still got a two for one trade. Instead of trading with the two creatures, we trade with one creature and a dive down. Not bad. I'll keep that. That lets us ritual and treasure map. 
<laughs> yeah, definitely don't need to feel bad, Mad Cap. Mad King. Yeah, you can find the... Emroni, you can find the deck list for the Gates deck um, on my Stream Decker page. You have to, you know, you just have to kind of scroll around and, and look for it, but all my decks are there. You can find the YouTube video also on the YouTube page, youtube.com slash Todd Stevens MTG. Uh, and the YouTube video has the link to the to the deck list as well. Draw a card. Thanks, Ronan. Couldn't break through gold, and the deck that finally got me there after like a week of getting close was Judith Priest. Nice. That's a good deck. Yeah, that's a good deck. <clears throat> yeah, Compass turning into a Maze of Ith. Seems really difficult for my opponent to deal with. Alright, just kind of acquiring more and more resources. No need to be hasty. <clears throat> yeah, Maze of Ith from the Dark. This, that's what this Thaumatic Compass basically turns into Maze of Ith. Um... Yeah, game's looking locked up. Alright, how much mana is this? Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Go double dupe. Doom Whisper. I guess I could have kicked this thing. Maybe I should have kicked that thing. Yeah, I probably should have styled with Josu. Alright, so you can turn one of my Whispers into... Oh, okay, they want to turn their Storm Tamer into a Doom Whisper. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. <laughs> Control all delete. <laughs> all right, on a roll. Um Control or Cabal is worth it when you have when you have five swamps. It will give you one extra mana at five swamps. So that that's when it starts being worth it. So that that's why I don't have a bunch of Cabal strongholds because you do need five swamps uh, for it to produce one extra mana. I uh, can't keep the one lander. Still can't keep the one lander. Hey, Candy Dude, doing good. 
Uh, Zerf donated for the Sultai Sanity deck. Just, just a bunch of one-landers. I could just not play anything and see the opponent's deck and not let them see mine. Hey, Dark Phoenix. All right, is this mono red or is it Drake's? Ah, it's Gruel Aggro. Yeah, we were we were not winning if I played this Cabal Stronghold. It doesn't even add black mana. Okay, so Gruel Aggro Lich can be pretty good against. I'll take out the Duresses. Get the Whispers because they're big. Um, I don't really like Moment or Cry. They don't necessarily kill things. Eldest Reborn's pretty nice, though. But so is Contempt. So do I want Contempt or Reborn? Let's go maybe Reborn. Hmm. So basically, do I want Fourth Contempt like that, or do I want, like, so that's like the, you know, this is like kind of like the, the, like one option, or I could play some Reborn somewhere. <clears throat> yeah, we have, we have 25 main deck lands. I think I'll just go with that. Born, you know, it's... Oh, it is bad for Phoenix, that's true. And Contempt is a lot better against Phoenix. It's a good point. With Rekindling Phoenix, definitely want the Contempt. I like Doom Whisperer more than Reborn. Wow. Come on, Magic. Okay, this could work. Get another Swamp. That's another swamp. So like think of if this was a seven card hand and we mulligan and we had to bottom one, I guess we would have had to like bottom the the Doom Whisperer. These liches are going to be sweet. All right, first time casting Phylactery Lich. I think. Yeah, we didn't cast any against Mobley, did we? Or it got countered. What? What is this attack? You think I won't block? I don't think our opponent understand what my card did. I think my opponent thought it couldn't attack or block or something. Yeah, the compass flips, it'll still keep the counter on it, yes. Because it's not... This doesn't, it doesn't say like exile and then put back into play. That's a fast concession to a phylactery lich. Can't handle it. My opponent's frantically looking through their sideboard and realizing that nothing's going to work and phylactery lich is too strong. They're looking at their crushing canopy and seeing that it says destroy. It only says destroy target enchantment, not artifact. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, Cinder Vines kills artifacts. No. Yeah, I guess they can get the Vines of Cinder. Hazard the Fervent back in standard. <laughs> Ooh, Sultai Sanity is already ready to go on YouTube. I should get some, fill out the info panel and all that kind of stuff with it. Right, I need to make a thumbnail for Sultai. All right, what do we have here? That's probably keepable. It's not like my favorite hand or anything. That's probably keepable. I'd much prefer to have this hand on the play, because how slow it is. All right, so if I scry here, I can look for cast down. If I don't scry, I could cast a lich. A scry. That's not a card I want. It's not a card I want either. Hey, what's up, Jakarta? That's the problem of keeping the hand I just did. You know, I thought it was like maybe keepable, but it was really close. Maybe I should have mulliganed. Yeah, Ritual of Soot would have been good. Which honestly, maybe, like, it looks like we're probably Ritual of Sid or Dead now. Like, I can't cast this Doom Whisperer. That's not going to save me. Need to just draw a set. Uh, I guess I should have mulliganed. I don't know. It's really, just, it's really just too bad that we didn't get to play the game one. The first game. Yes, turn four contempt, turn five Doom Whisper, I guess is just too slow there on the draw. It'd been nice to find something in between, but we didn't. But if we mulligan, we can look, for, you know, we have four cast down, four ritual of sets. That's so why I have those cards. Alright, be a burn deck. Be a burn deck. Burn deck. Burn deck. Mountain shock go. Okay. Be a black red burn deck. <laughs> Not even Mountain Go and then Shock on End Step, just Mountain Shock Go. Uh. 
Uh, Grixis control, taking our immortal sun. Whoa. They must have another discard spell. Yeah, like they just have another discard spell for the immortal sun for later. Thief's good. Hope they get Phylactery Lich and they try playing it. Alright, good. They ate two lands plus something else, so got rid of two lands at least. Alright, cracking this thing. Oh, come on, deck. Ugh. Our deck has not liked us with our mana draws here. Yeah, if if they just took if it was just three lands for them, that would have been so many lands in a row. If like if they just saw three lands with Thief. And then all those lands that we drew. That would have been a huge land pile. Alright, so they're reading. That's gotta be a lich somewhere. They just took Fountain of Renewal over Contempt or Doom Whisper. What are you what are you even doing with your life? We'll get another uh, swamp out with this thaumatic compass, but I'm letting them hit us first so they have a higher percentage of getting a land. <laughs> That's two more lands. They are very carefully keeping three mana up all the time. They gotta have a counter spell. Like, presumably. Four, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Alright, so we're gonna have. Well, never mind. Maybe they just didn't have things to play. Sheevan fire. They get one more hit with the Sanity on us. Yeah, one more hit with Steve Sanity before this turns into Spires of Orozka. Yeah, they could have Bedevil for Immortal Sun. That'd be sad. If they do, Nefer, it's completely your fault for calling Bedevil. You're not supposed to call the opponent having the best card they can. Nefer, it's your fault. And then they have another thief. It's like nice duress. We could have handled the one thief with our spires, but we can't handle another thief. Oh, 
That card's good. That card's good. Okay, we're back in it. They still have this gateway. So that's 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So that's 16 of our lands at minimum. They drew more thieves. Wait, how many did I say? 16? So there's nine left, but one of these could be a land. Maybe both, I suppose, but I think at least one. Yeah, honestly, we may just run out of win conditions here because of this thief. Honestly, I don't have a lot of win conditions in the main deck. They've gotten rid of one Josu and one Doom Whisperer. So that means I have one of each of those left and four Liches. That's it. I honestly may get milled out. They may have, like, enough answers. I know, I need a Banefire. Um, this does kill the Thief, I suppose. Dang it. Stupid upkeep stop that I didn't have that I absolutely wanted. Yeah, they probably would have just... That's a good point. If, if I would have had Banefire, they would have just taken it with Sanity. Because right, this right here is 18 mana. Wow, they're just getting rid of Vraska's Contempt. My life is pretty rough. No, Gateway doesn't come back to us. It's not... It just transforms. It doesn't... It's not like Nicol Bolas that says exile it and then return it um, transformed under its owner's control. This just simply transforms. It doesn't get exiled. and So that's why the, the Lich counters stay on these permanents because they don't leave the battlefield. We got another swamp at the bottom. So they have one, two, three, and four. And they put zero. So zero, one, two, three, four. Sanctum of the Sun. That's some sweet art. <laughs> My opponent thinking that I actually have cards in hand. LOL.
Guess I'll take another treasure map. I could just be milling myself out faster. We need to find all of our liches. No, I don't think the opponent has explosion. I think they have Nicol Bolas. Ugh. That's a bad card for us. Um, they took my other Josu vest, by the way. All right, how many rituals we got left? Seen, we've seen two, so we have two left. Well, we're gonna have to upkeep Scry for, for a ritual. I'm not gonna do it. Ritual. Nope. That was a card I wouldn't mind finding. Myself was my other Josie vest, but I guess they took it. Um. All right, let's get Elvis Reborns. Ooh, Boneyard Parlay. That'll probably never resolve. Could play Spyglass for Ascanta. Like Spyglass is just more useful than Fountain of Renewal. It's gonna be tough to win. Bedevil is really mean. I know, right? They took my gateway and then cast my Josie vest. Play a couple of moment of cravings for Thief of Sanity. Maybe more Doom Whisperer? Gosh, it's so easy for them to answer Doom Whisperer. Winning winning the game is gonna be tough for us. Yeah, like actually winning the game is gonna be tough. What? Why was that invalid? I guess I maybe made it 59. Dang it. I didn't even get my sideboard. It's really frustrating. But this is a pretty decent hand, um, especially if we can get another land for Lich. They had two Thought Erasures? Ugh, never mind. Thought we had a decent hand of like, get the, 
get the Lich down on turn three, you know, like, take their Thought Erasure with Duress, play Lich. I have two Thought Erasures. I just have to hope they mess up and don't take Lich, and I top deck the Swamp, and then I get to play Lich before this other Thought Erasure. That's my best game plan right now. Wish I didn't have these crappy Ritual of Sits or Founder Renewals in my deck. Okay, they're messing up. Giving me a chance. Come on, Swamp. Swamp! Oh, baby. Alright, now we just need them not to have a, a removal spell for Lich. Or for Founder Renewal. They just can't draw Bedevil. Bedevil or Contempt. They cannot draw either of those. Like, they may have already drawn Bedevil or Contempt. Just the problem with Lich is how they have Bedevils and everything. And they may have Hostage Taker. It's like Hostage Taker, Bedevil, Contempt, all of those can save my opponent. This is a bad play if my opponent just plays a Hostage Taker. Then playing that Contempt will be bad. Okay. I'm gonna hover over you like a dark cloud. Attack. All right. One last turn for the opponent. We get to see, you know, a good amount of cards, but we just need them to whiff. Choose wisely, because the other one's going bye-bye. <laughs> oh. Uh, so close. Need the lich last turn last card not the sun just want to peek the weight is killing me that's gonna be a tough matchup for us so we went one and two with our ledge deck, but I didn't get to sideboard there for that last game, so that was really disappointing. Um, the previous match, we didn't even get to play our first game because we had to just mulligan to Oblivion because it was just one lander, one lander, one lander. So, like, both of our losses, it felt like one game didn't get to do a ton, but we almost almost got there with that Lich that, that second game. But do y'all think that we should run it back and try it again? I don't think Karn's better than Immortal Sun at all.
Carnage is not very not a very powerful card where Immortal Sun is. Go again? Alright, everybody's saying yeah, go again. Redo, okay. Alright, let's try a redo. Mono Black Lich, let's try again. A way to give the Lich lifelink? I don't think that's what the deck's missing. I think the deck can, is already okay against aggro. It's like good against red, where you really want lifelink. It's the, the control decks are tough. Um, I don't, I just don't want to play Mastermind's Acquisition. I just don't, I don't like Mastermind's Acquisition very much. I could have Banefires in the sideboard. Like, Banefire is an okay sideboard card, I guess. You'd have to have, like, a treasure map flipped. Thing. I have zero cards in my hand that matter. I'm just going to play this before they Thought Erasure it. I don't want their Thought Erasure to ever do anything. Like, yes, they get to Mortify this, but, you know, they can Mortify any creature I play. Teferi. Teferi. Ah, uh, dang. So hoping that, that last card we didn't know was a Teferi. They got to snag. Even play that Thalmatic Compass yet, I think. I should probably just wait a turn. Play it next turn and go get a land out of the deck. Well, Escanta is going to take this over. Escanta is a little better than. Thalmatic Compass in this matchup. Hey, Matt Phil. Yeah, I miss playing the deck sometimes, too. Our 11th land and 17 cards. So after keeping the 5 lander, we just drew 12 lands. Or sorry, that's not <laughs> that's not how you do math. After keeping the 5 lander, we drew 6 lands. Uh, there in 10 cards. And the Thalmatic Compass and Fountain Renewal, of course, did nothing. Uh, let's try to actually get a sideboard in this time. Alright, cast downs can come on out. Soot comes on out. Fountains just don't do anything. Compasses don't really do anything either. Guess I'm going to play this. Hey, Ken, good games. Bloodfast for control? That could be an option. The thing, the thing about Bloodfast is, you know, it's a little weak to Mortify, which is, um, you know, not great, but 
Could be an option. Alright, Teferi. So they can have Thief on three, but then we got Contempt. Because as you can see, if we had like a Blood Fast here, you know, you can see like how like the Mortify blowing that up. It's kind of the good part about playing Artifacts. Is they don't die to Mortify. All right, I'm gonna crack this Fountain of Renewal. I wouldn't mind them having another thief. We get to reborn next turn. I would like them just to play no lands and another thief. Or land plus thief. Yeah, we're playing the deck again. The other three games didn't last very long. You know, and... Um, you know, with it being a donation deck and everything, it's probably good to, to play a little more. Yeah, they could mortify the Eldritch Reborn, but at least it would at least it would start you know, it it would trade two for one, you know, it would trade with like you know, trades with whatever they play plus mortify. That's not bad. Sure, I'll keep spike glass. Yes, I think Hostage Shaker is better than Chupacabra and Sultai. Yes, I think you should switch them. Hostage Shaker is awesome. I don't know the pre-constructed decks that Arena gives you very well. I never really looked at them, so I don't I don't know what's best. Restart our library. So we're looking for Immortal Sun. The Immortal Sun is our best card. That's the card that I want to find. Let's just gets contempted. That's not a bad card. It's not Immortal Sun though. I'm just gonna have to get rid of everything in my deck. Just to find this stupid Immortal Sun. I got three of them in here. Well, I'll keep that thing. I can, I can keep those. Uh, how are we doing, mana? Four? Oh, yeah. We got Stronghold. Yeah, let's go like this. Six. Think about using a treasure. Basically, do I need to keep this Eldritch Reborn in hand, or is it okay to discard it? Um, I could use two treasures and keep Eldritch Reborn, basically, uh, and discard this treasure map.
I think... I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna keep Eldritch Reborn. Good old auto tap. They have two contempts in hand, and auto tap just taps all of their black mana, <laughs> so they don't get to contempt. Huh, we had another reborn there. Didn't really get rewarded with that Eldest Reborn play. Hey Andre. Um I mean we're doing we're one and two right now with, with our with this mono black deck. Which I guess it's a new league. I guess we're technically 0 and 0 in this league. Those are sweet zombie knights. They were looking for Kai's Wrath, you know, like they got to... Surveil twice to look for it, plus plus the chemistry's inside, so they got to look at four cards for Kai's Wrath and did not find it. We've had like some unfortunate games. Um but we're we're not very good against control. You know, like that's just something that that we know like with our deck, you know, like we have some limitations here. We're not very good against control and we've got paired against control the last two matches now. We did we did win a game. Josu is male. Josu is Kai is uh Liliana's brother. Soltai Sanity was really good. Um it, it's really good against other mid-range and control decks. I think the hardest matchups would be some kind of aggro deck. I don't know exactly what, but I, I don't have very much in the, the 75 for aggro. Um, we didn't really face any aggro decks, though. Like, maybe, like, Mono White. Probably, like, toughest kind of matchup for that deck. Yeah, I think Liliana... Did Liliana... I think Liliana killed Josu. I think she... Like, you know, not not on purpose kind of thing, but accidentally killed her brother kind of thing. Yeah, she turned him into the Lich by accident. That's what it was. Trying to save him. Yeah, trying... She, like, that's, like, when she started using the dark magic. She, like, couldn't find a way to save her brother and needed and tried to use dark magic to save her brother and accidentally turned him into a lich. And then, yeah, and then I think that, then that, like, made her really, like, mad or sad or something like that. It, like, you know, one of those emotions and ignited, ignited her spark kind of thing and... Turned her into a planeswalker. 
Although, that sounds reasonable. I think... I think all of that is kind of what happened. I'll just play the 4-5. Because we, we have something for next turn and the next turn after that. I remember reading that background story in Origins. I, I read some of the Origins background stories. Uh, from from Magic Origins, the set with like the Planeswalkers. But that was a while ago. That was a few years ago. All right. Really hope they don't have a counter spell. No. <laughs> yeah, if Immortal Sun Resolve would have been great for us. And now it's just like the worst turn where they do get to flip the compass. Um, I mean, I guess the 4-5 is better than the 2-3. You know, if we had, like, one previous turn, we could have hostage shakered back our compass thing again. Cabal didn't add any mana that previous turn, right? Unless, did I have the five swamps plus one Cabal out? Last turn? Man, we are just drawing swamps. But, like, would our opponent... Would our opponent even... Counter Fountain? So we need like Spyglass to stop this as Kanta. I'll take another Immortal Sun. We got two more in here. I can no longer stand by and watch. This is hardly my worst defeat. Hurry! All right, come on, Immortal Sun. Dang. Not so like firing off duress here doesn't make a lot of sense and they're about to start activating Escanta. Like they'll probably have like Escanta go find him like an absorb or whatever, and then we'll be able to fire off duress later to protect some spell. No, we we reset. We tried we tried a new league after going one two. And as Kanta found absorb, what a surprise. Really need that Immortal Sun to resolve. But I guess they would have found a hostage shaker to take it. Anyway. All right, we're 0 and 1. In our new league. 
Our deck's just not good against control. You know, like we're really relying on Immortal Sun, but you know, like we're just not gonna be good against control. It's just kinda how it is. Especially, you know, like when we just draw ten lands at the beginning of the games, like those two games that we lost. We did we did win one of them. But, you know, if we have gotta have, you know, our spells, we gotta have like treasure maps, that kind of stuff. Early. Wait, yeah, just drawing drawing ten lands. Our deck will have issues then. Dawn of Hope? Doing the, all the activating and everything during my turn because of Tithe Taker. Yeah, I mean, if we draw a Phylactery Lich, we could, we could beat Dawn of Hope. Lich can beat that. Or Doomless Bear can beat that. Alright, so we've gone through six, seven, eight, nine. We've gone through nine lands now. But at least we have treasure maps and gateways to help us out. The heck? How do we gain life? Oh, Tesa gives this crappy thing lifelink. Right. Right. We're going to get another land from this activation. We'll still be able to cast down. I'm just going to kill that. So they don't get to draw a card with Dawn of Hope. Okay, Vigilance and Life Link. Not Death Touch. We're taking five right now. We do have Founder Renewal available though to gain some life. That's the card I wanted to see.
Just saving two life, wasting two treasures. I can't do that. Yeah, it kind of seems like our deck is 30 lands. Yeah, the Z key lets you undo. These enchantments are going to be tough. Gone through 13 lands right now. No, yeah, we, we reshuffled. So we have two creatures in the graveyard that they can get with uh, Ethereal Absolution. They also have Dawn of Hope, they get to make tokens all, as well. I wish I would have kept the duress uh, now after finding Doom Whisperer. I wish I could have duressed first because they're just sitting there with a bunch of removal spells in hand if they're not playing lands out for Dawn of Hope. Beating this Dawn of Hope is going to be tough. Okay. I'll take that. Draw a new card. Wish we'd have two Immortal Suns out. So just gonna not not let them have that token. Just basically using cast down as a counter spell plus it's a removal spell. Hey King KFC. Hmm. Don't think I want to crack the fountain yet. We need to crack it. Oh no, those things are gone.
Infinite fountains. I could just wait. I could just gain one life. Lich is our card. That we need to find more of. We've seen one Lich so far. Okay, there's a Lich. Because they cannot destroy it with Kaya's Wrath. It is indestructible. Yeah, Josu would be good too. But I guess maybe I should have taken... I guess I don't really think of Josu. Maybe I should have taken that Kaya's Wrath. Um, I've seen one Duress so far, and we know one Duress is at the bottom of our library. So there's one more Duress in our deck somewhere. Hey, Sculpted Mind! Getting that new toothbrush with Quip. Thank you, Sculpted Mind. Let's get some hype in the channel. I, I could have played Stronghold. I was just kind of playing quickly. Uh, so I played that instead of Swamp. It's no big deal either way. So, Sculpted Mind, for signing up for Quip, you get a free donation deck. If there's any deck you'd like to see, let me know. I guess I can let them hit me once. It's probably not that big a deal. They hit me one time, I'm at six. Cool, we're going to get the Bant Vanifar list? Nice. I like it. We, of course, have plenty of mana during their turn, so it's really not a big deal at all. Like the Tithe Taker. We're going to take four here, go down to four. Uh, but they're not going to have life. Their creatures aren't going to have life link, though. Yeah, I, I'm going to see. I'm going to wait one turn to see if we can draw. See if we can draw a duress and take that Kaya's Wrath away. And I'd like to ritual sit before I Josie Vess. Ooh, that's good, that's good. So I could shuffle and shuffle that duress back. Could shuffle with the Thaumatic Compass. But then I only have one compass available. Which that's okay, they, they can't make another flyer, they can only make a ground creature that I get to block. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, I guess I could have put the counter on the compass. Sorry, I was just thinking about all the other things. I wasn't really thinking about that. But yeah, it probably would have been safer to put the Electory Lich counter there. I mean, Assassin's Trophy gets rid of either one. Okay, with them taking that, I'm certainly going to just Josie Vess. We got two Vesses. So their plan was to make multiple Dawn of Hope tokens. they do that they just want to gain more life they don't want to just make a make a blocker they know they can block these things right Keeping the Founder Renewal on top because it's just a, a cycler. That's a good point. If I if I did have removal, the having the blocker was lethal, so they made sure they could stay alive. And it turned out I did get I did get the removal, so made sure they got to stay alive another turn. Thanks, Drod. Yeah, this deck is about Phylactery Lich, Indestructible Liches. <clears throat> so, we did it. We beat a Dawn of Hope and an Ethereal Absolution. Thanks to the Immortal Sun, getting us lots of cards. Immortal Sun's pretty great. If our opponent in Abzan Colors, they probably have a lot of disenchant effects that they're probably bringing in. They could have like Knight of Autumns and stuff like that. This could be a lot more difficult for us <clears throat> after sideboarding because I don't have, like, you know, I don't have disenchants to bring in for Dawn of Hope and stuff like that. Yeah, I guess Spyglass does stop Dawn of Hope. Part of it. It stops them from making tokens. They still draw cards if they gain life. Kind of off cast down. Hmm. Um, mono black does not have enchantment removal, no. Let's try this. All right. 
We're going to draw spells this time. We've done a great job of drawing lots of lands in our other games. I think this is going to be the game we're going to draw spells. We're going to do it. Look at that. One for one. So you might as well try to take the Dawn of Hope right away. Huh. Well, I'll take this flower they didn't cast. They didn't cast it because they, they scried something to the top. Gateway and Compass is a kind of a cool combo. Where you can be like, I'm going to get a land on my deck. And you get your land. And then you're like, now I can get rid of this land. So I just got a land. Kind of thing. We're just going to be thinning our deck and drawing multiple cards. Oh, I don't really need a Tithe Taker that, or Contempt, sorry. I don't really need a Contempt that thing. Hmm. I probably should activate the compass first. Get that swamp out. Of course, gotta do this on my turn, of course, because Tithe Taker. Um, I have not made a Mardu Legends deck, and then if not, why? I guess just because I've been making other decks and stuff and just haven't gotten around to that, I suppose. Alright, let's go get a land. Alright, now gateway away the land. Recommended fun deck to climb. Um, Naya Legends is a, is a nice fun one. I also really like Naya Huatli. Um, Grixis Discard is... Like, really, comp it's the most competitive if you like Grixis decks. Hmm. We're gonna have, like, no more lands in our deck eventually. The decks we make reveal who we are. Was that Karn? They they can still have Assassin's Trophy. So like Assassin's Trophy kills Spires of Araska still, but it's just Assassin's Trophy now. Uh, you know if they have like um, Night of Autumn or anything else, they can't can't get rid of it. Oh, I didn't activate Stronghold. That's okay. So they have the Settle the Wreckage. They're just holding up right now. I'll get this Fountain Renewal under there. Put a different mana cost out there. So that's... We've already exiled five lands there. Plus we have, so it's 5, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we've seen 13 land so far. Unless they're mana abilities. Nice. All right.
I have not tried Golden Guardian. Yeah, Sultai Sanity is, is really strong if you want like a, a nice strong deck. All right, so seven mana. Josie Vest is good. No, Spires cannot untap your creature. Mesa Vith can untap your creature, but Spires uh, says untap a creature and opponent controls. Yeah, so they're going to sit back and hold up the settle. We have the duress for the settle. Which is convenient. Find finality. All right, not giving their creatures lifelink. Hey, baloney pony. Yeah, movie was awesome. And, you know, back here streaming all day. Happy to be here. All right, then we have another contempt for this Tristani. Or I guess finality. Finality doesn't save him though. It takes out everything except for the Lich, so. Alright. Got the win. Yeah, I have the Immortal Sun instead of Karn. Because I really, really like Immortal Sun. And so like that first game, Immortal Sun kinda helped us win that one. And so that's why I have that instead. Ooh. Man. So close. So close to being able to keep this. Hmm. I would never recommend playing one Karn. Because if you play a Karn and you tick up and you exile two spells, and one of your two spells is an important one, and your opponent gives you the other, and then they use a Vrath's Contempt or attack your Karn or some, you know, remove it from the battlefield, then you'll never have another Karn to be able to get that other spell that you exiled that will just be exiled for good. What is going on here? Lava Runner, Reveler, Phoenix? There's 
23 swamps and two strongholds. Yeah, I thought this was like a burn deck. I was all happy about this fountain, but I don't know. They're just chilling with this phoenix. I don't seem to have a lot of burn spells for this phoenix. So yeah, we'll have the Contempt for the Phoenix, the set for all this stuff. Um, so I want to cast down also. Cast down just saves four life. Saving four life is probably good. Good enough for the cast down. Yeah, so that now that cast down was just gain four. So we would have taken four from the reveler before we sit. Yeah, I have I have two sons in the main and one more sun in the board. <laughs> it feels like twenty three thousand swamps. True. Boom. Alright, basically we're just kind of chilling until we find a Lich. We just want to draw a Lich, put a counter on this renewal, win game. Alright, that'll thin the deck a little bit. That's definitely true, Coffee Master. Good point. Our opponent could be playing Bedevil for having this Dragon Skull Summit. Usually, decks with these kind of stuff, you want all your removal to be damage based, but you never know. They could have Bedevil in their deck. Never know. Alright, so that's a sixth land. I don't know if I'm going to play a land next turn. I, I probably won't play a land next turn. Yeah, that's that's this is the only uh, you know black part of their deck that we've seen so far. Unclear if they have anything else, of course. I I wouldn't be surprised if that's all they have is just the reveler. I'll keep that one. It's my party and I'll scry if I want to. In the world. So I'm not in a, a big rush to Josu Vess. It's not in a big rush at all. Um, I didn't play a land there, um, because if I play the land, then the Thalmatic Compass transforms. I'd rather get some more lands out. Mitchin with the tier one sub for the third month in a row. Welcome back to the stream. Thank you so much for that continued support. That's sub number four on the day.
Thank you. Um, do I want to flip this compass yet? We're kind of running out of space in our hand. That card's reasonable. And with the treasure co flipping, the thaumatic compass is going to flip anyway, so now we'll flip it. Scry of the Carnarium. <laughs> yeah, you can basically think of any uh, pop culture pop culture reference with the word cry and just replace it with scry <laughs> yeah fountains gained a lot of life this game this has been a long game <laughs> did you did y'all see like what happened here with the cards like this shock said swamp and then the screw the critic said library yeah y'all saw that it just said library I don't, I don't know if it said other things here it just said swamp lob library Yeah, somebody clip that. That'll be on the YouTube channel too. Swamp Library. I wonder if I wonder if like their top card of the library is a swamp. I hope they draw a swamp. No, we'll never know. No opponent will never know. It's Swamp Library. All right, things that say gain life coming on in. That's moment craving, Veras's contempt. Uh, duress is probably reasonable. Oh yeah, Doom Whisperer is absolutely they're a good fast clock against red. And then a Mortal Sun could come on out. I think that one will be kind of slow. I kind of like all the rest of their cards though. That's sixty six cards, which is. A little bit too many. Oh, maybe that's it. Maybe it was a swamp on top of my library because I was the one looking at it. That's probably what it was. I was looking at it and it's telling me I have a swamp on my library. Thing is, I need to keep in the artifacts for Lich. So I can't really cut artifacts. Maybe I just don't need to rest. Um, let's cut a land so we cut the other things alright that's 61 we could go 61 card special or I can cut the gateway nah let's go 61 card special now ritual sets really good The 61 card special. So does, is that so that uh, that clip with the swamp library does it? Did the rest of the card text uh, make sense? Like, like were the rest of the cards in the card text correct? Y61, I don't know, just felt like it. Felt like doing something different. 
Ow. That's mean. Yeah, that's a good risk factor too. We're we're good against creatures here. Not the burn spells. Or Phoenix. Ooh. Suddenly good against Phoenix. I probably shouldn't have kept my hand that had like basically nothing until turn four ritual of soot. Probably should have mulliganed and looked for like fountain renewal, cast down, moment of craving, phylactery lich, you know, like anything to do before turn four. That's probably my bad. That was a really good light up the stage for them. They get to play the pyromancer this turn, put me down to three. Why would they not just cast the pyromancer to deal two? And then Phoenix. You confuse me, opponent. Alright, should have mulliganed. We were on the draw. So they actually do have a lot of spells in their deck. We didn't see that last time. Let's bring in these duresses. Let's cut two soots. Um, that's a 63. Go down another land. I guess I'm just going to take out more Ritual of Sets. Because we have all the other early interaction. Ugh. Yeah, I guess so. We got this Moment of Craving, which is really nice. And then got the artifacts. We just want to draw a Phylactery Lich. Hopefully. I'll just play treasure map and scry next turn. There it is a land put at the bottom. It's a spell, keep it on top. Um if you're replacing Doom Whispers, I guess. Like Eldest Reborn? Could be an option there. See, now I need a Ritual of Set. Cry the Carnarium. One more Swamps to the bottom. I took out. Didn't I take out two lands? I know I took out a swamp, but I think I took out the other Cabal Stronghold. This is indeed a swamp library. No kidding.
That was a terrible turn for us. Our opponent having, you know, our opponent on their turn three had Steamkin plus Wizard's Lightning, which is awesome. We had absolutely nothing that affected the battlefield. This is going really, really bad for us. In fact, could not be going worse. Yeah, that was some pretty awful draws there. I'm pretty sure I sideboarded out two lands. Might have been more. I mean, sorry, might have been one. But I'm, I know for sure one, but I think even a second. Yeah, that was really bad for us. Um... So unfortunately, red is like kind of a matchup we want to face because Fountain Renewal and Phylactery Lich are both really good against red. The problem is those games two and three that we lost, we did not see Fountain Renewal or Phy Phylactery Lich. We only had like Treasure Map and Doom Whisperer. While Doom Whisperer is really good, you you want like or, you know you need like interaction for a few turns first before Doom Whisperer. Um, so we we played the deck twice. Went one two one two. I uh, struggle with control and stuff like that, so. No, I like Whisper in that matchup because you need to have a fast clock going back at them because you can't just let them just sit back and draw burn spell after burn spell after burn spell and just not have a clock uh, where Doom Whisperer is that. Um, you know, you just don't want to have only Doom Whisperers. You need to have removal and things like that. Game three, you know, I cut down on Ritual of Soots, and then it turned out the Ritual of Soot would have been an awesome card to have on turn four to take out Steamkin and and that other one. Like we would have would have been a really good card to have. But there we go. <laughs> yeah, we were kicking Josie Vess quite a bit actually in those games. Uh, kicks Josie Vet Vess probably close to five times throughout those six matches. Probably somewhere around there. So, all right. Mono Black Lich didn't quite work as well as, as hoped, but it's still fun to play something different. So there we go, Mono Black Lich. So if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit the sub button over there. But thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.